All campaigns have challenges, but these two student leaders didn't let their orientation stop them from running for office. The generation that goes to UMKC is a generation that looks at someone's character and who they are before who they love. New SGA president Justice Horn is a first for UMKC. There's a place at the table for anyone, no matter your background or who you are, your race, your ethnicity, that basically uh, college is a place for you. While he is not the first gay uh, SGA president, he is the first to run on the platform as a gay man and is the first black but he doesn't want to be known for being gay. Uh, a library referendum that I introduced is surprisingly student supported. He wants to be known as a good leader, focus on the needs of the student body and how it can work with the city. Making sure that the city and us are walking lock and step and making sure that the city is working for us and we're working for them. He seems like he's gonna be a great student leader um, and I'm looking forward to, you know, it's interesting. I'm on the end of the timeline, right? Like I'm on my way out, but I'm looking forward to still being able to kind of look back and see, you know, what he's up to. This year, the University of Kansas also saw its first. We control a budget of about $23 million that we set every single fiscal year. Senior Noah Rise is KU's first openly gay SGA president. This year, his board was focused on inclusion, but they also tried to tackle school affordability. We advocated at the state level and the federal level, even in D.C. First time ever in D.C., that was really cool. Back in Kansas City, Horn knows having a seat at the table comes with more than just a title. The real work starts now. Reporting, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.